Hi guys, just been inspired by a video by Rimstar.org, moving objects by sound. Basically you get a couple of plastic pop bottles to spin round by playing a sound at them. It's all to do with Helmholtz resonance, apparently. I know nothing about it, but that's what it says in the script. Also watched a very similar video by Ludoc Vibrationer. Uh, both videos are very similar. Both use a pop bottle, or two pop bottles, and they spin round a central axis. I thought I'd have a go, and I'm going to try it with smaller pop bottles, which means my resonant frequency will be much higher, and I've no idea if it will work. If it doesn't work, then I'll get a couple of pop bottles the same size that they used, and just see if I can get a successful implementation. Anyway, these are the pop bottles I'm going to use. They're small ones, as I say. And I'm going to see if I can get four of them spinning round. I've got some cotton thread to support them. Over here, that's the base off my um, floor fan. It's just the base. And here is a motor that I took out of a microwave oven and I've already stripped the coil off it. This is just the central armature. But it happens to have some nice bearings on it. So I'm going to mount that in the top of my seal, uh, floor fan base and use the bearings to support the bottles. So that's the theory for today. I'm just going to fast forward through this lot guys because ultimately it leads to failure and I've had to revert to the version Rimstar.org demonstrated. So I'll let you see what I tried to do but you'll see at the end I've had to just go with the two large pop bottles. Having no success at all with this but the least I can do is demonstrate by putting a bit of tissue paper in front of this bottle that we are actually getting an output it's just not enough to drive the bottle forwards bottles suspended from my ceiling and for some reason they seem to naturally turn on their own. I've got no sound at the moment. Success in the end. That took an awful lot of time to get there. Let's see if we can do it again. Well, thanks to Rimstar.org for another interesting experiment. 